very much bloating. But now I'm gonna journal about it. Mm. Oh my god, where is time going? I feel like the year is going so fast already. It's kind of scaring me. You know, one thing that I've been thinking about lately is I want to get back into poetry. When I first started growing on YouTube, I posted a lot of spoken word poetry and then I feel like I did it a lot and it became all consuming and I wanted to do something different and I really did enjoy it at the time. It was like poetry was like a really important outlet for me and a lot of people seemed to really connect with them, which was insane to me at the time. I had never really connected with people in that way before and poetry was so new to me back then. Now I'm feeling more contemplative, I guess, and I feel like I've lived enough life to write and talk about a lot more different topics. So I kind of want to go back into that and explore poetry again. Also let me know if you guys would be interested in that. I was thinking of maybe posting them on this channel and also on Instagram and TikTok. Also like what topics you guys would like me to write about. Most of the time I do tend to just write about things that come to me naturally. But sometimes it's nice to see different perspectives and write about different things that I wouldn't normally think about but it's almost like a challenge to put myself into that headspace. I have some errands I need to do, but I'm just gonna tick off today. Ooh, sorry. I have to do some returns. I picked up these linen tops from Uniqlo, and I have learned that this style of top does not suit my body. It makes me look really boxy, and I don't like it. I figured whilst it's not raining at the moment, let me just quickly dash out, because the weather is very temperamental. Some days I'm like, wow, spring is here. The sun is out, all is good in the world and the next it is like pouring down and I am miserable again. Hey, can I make a return please? Oh, hey. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm actually like vlogging right now. What's your name? Oh nice, nice to meet you guys. <laughs> Oh really? Oh, I get that a lot. People recognize my voice before they recognize my face. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you. Thanks. recipe on YouTube for chicken curry that I really want to try out. I'm gonna attempt to do that today. I basically had chicken in my freezer and like I didn't know what to do with it. I do this a lot where I freeze my meat in the freezer. There's something about meat that I find really intimidating to cook. It's not as quick and easy as like making a quick meal with vegetables which you can do like in 10-15 minutes. I feel like with chicken because that's the only meat I really eat or cook. I never cook red meat because that's a whole territory I do not know how to handle. Let's start in baby steps. So like I freeze a chicken and then I'm like, it just stays frozen for months because I don't know what to do with it. So today I have found a recipe and it didn't look too intimidating. It didn't look too bad. So I have all the ingredients and everything. So I'm gonna try and attempt to make it. It's kind of good because the, it's the ingredients that are left over from other videos I filmed. And usually I don't know what to do with those ingredients. But now I'm like slowly starting to use them through these different recipes. You need a lot of oil for this. I'm not used to using this much oil in my cooking. Feels and looks like a lot, but it also requires a lot. Maybe not that much though. That does look like a lot. I'm making a Indian chicken curry. Hopefully it won't take too long. I quite like the idea that you just blend all the spices and everything in a blender and then you put it in. That feels like a lot easier way of cooking. I love how I'm so lazy. I don't even put the spices in like little tubs. I just keep them in the packet and use it like this. I feel like it's just easier this way. But a lot of people look at me like, you're such an amateur Taz. And you would be right. That's a lot. I feel like that's a lot. I'm not a confident cook, but I am enjoying cooking a lot more. I'm actually surprised with how much I'm cooking lately. I find cooking quite mindful now. I quite enjoy the process. I think because I'm cooking more, I'm getting used to the steps a lot more. It doesn't feel as new, so I'm like, okay, I get this, and then we do that. It feels a bit more like um, I'm getting used to it, which is really good. When it goes well and turns out how it's supposed to, um, I really enjoy cooking. 
Wow, that smells so good already. Holy smokes, that smells incredible. I've only put two spices in. I cannot believe that I didn't use to season my food. <laughs> I was missing out so much. Ooh. Okay, in here we've got onion, garlic, ginger, tomatoes, and chilies. And it's just all blended into one, and then we can put it in here now. Okay, the consistency is kind of stuck. It's not really meant to be stuck like this. Okay, and it's in. I need to get a new blender because that is a giant lump of ginger. Because it didn't blend. And now I don't know what to do because I've got like giant lumps of ginger in my food. Luckily, I have ginger paste. Should have just used that from the start, shouldn't I? Since I've been struggling with bloating issues, I have switched more to like cooking from scratch and um, it has made a world of difference. Guys, I think I am done. So good news, I think it turned out okay. Stressful news, I have learnt my lesson because making Indian food on a white counter is both the bravest and dumbest thing you can do. I have so many stains on my white counter now and I am like panicking. I am the worst when it comes to this white counter. Like anyone who, not many people actually cook on this, in this kitchen, but the very few times people do, I am like scouring around trying to like make sure there's no stains. And I feel like I've done a bad job today because I honestly don't understand how people cook Indian food on a white counter without messing up the countertop. Now I don't know how to get these stains off and it's stressing me out. More stressful than cooking. But I think it's done and I think it looks good. So let's move on to that, shall we? So this is the end result. And apparently a really good sign is when the oil separates at the top, as you can see. So this is a finished result and let's try it. Oh my God, can you see the stains though? Not to keep harping on about it, but can you see the stains? I don't know how clear it is on camera, but there's like all these yellow stains all over my countertop now. I think I overcooked the potatoes and now they're like really soft, but I like soft potatoes, so that's okay. I'm gonna try the gravy just to see if the salt is okay. Can't actually tell. That tastes really flavorful and delicious. I put a little bit more salt, just so. And it's done. <laughs> smells like it's too fragrant. Mmm. I actually really like how mushy the potatoes are. So nice. You know what? For my first attempt, I don't think this is bad. I think I definitely need more practice, but it's definitely edible. And it just motivates me to try again and like tweak some stuff so it can taste better next time. Ooh. Yay. Very, very happy. K-pop dance class. I find K-pop dancing really cool. I don't think I'm good at it, but that's also not why I'm doing it. I'm not doing this with the intention of like becoming really good at dancing because that would require a miracle. But I am trying to find ways of getting movement in that are enjoyable, that I find fun. Cause I feel like if I find something really fun, I'm more likely to do it. It looks really hard, but the class I'm doing is a rookie one. So for beginners, oh, are my friends here? Cause I'm going with my friend. I'm trying to get hobbies guys. That's what I'm trying to do. I need hobbies and I need to force myself out of the house cause I will not willingly do it. So I'm getting my friends to join me on that. And now we are doing things. I was telling them how I need hobbies. <laughs> and so we're doing a K-pop dance. I'm gonna try. <laughs> I am bloating so much right now. Woo, love that for me. I spent the rest of the day, where am I looking? I never know where I'm supposed to look with these things. Whew, we are bright. That is really bright. You know what, when I'm this blinded, I don't need to know where I'm looking. Hung out with Samaya the rest of the day. It was really chill, it was really nice actually. Update on the class. <laughs> okay, so as you guys know, I went to my first K-pop dance class today and I was terrible. I was so, so bad. I. I mean, I knew this already, but I guess I needed to confirm. I am terrible at picking up choreography. I'm not good with audio instructions. 
uh, like when people say words to me, it means nothing. I don't know. Like for some reason, my brain cannot process verbal cues so i'm much more visual learner and so the way i pick up stuff is like from watching people like in the mirror and stuff but this class it was like very um it's a very popular class there was a lot of people in a very small room and it meant that i couldn't really see the instructor through the mirror and stuff um and i'm terrible at picking up choreography anyway and i don't feel like that helped <laughs> i mean i'm sure i would have been terrible either way but yeah i couldn't really see the instructor and what was going on i am um, not flexible and i have terrible rhythm like i was not able to move my body in the way that it needed to be moved i'm like a cardboard like even when i like bend and stuff it's so rigid it's so unflattering i don't think dancing is for me i mean i probably could have told you that before i went to be honest with you but now i know i don't think that's my thing but we tried we tried and you won't know unless you try. So I put myself out there, got severely humbled and realized not for me. And that's okay. That's okay. There were some people who were like really good at dancing. I could say quite confidently, I think I was the worst one there. Judging by what I was looking at in the room, I think I was the worst one, which is okay. We live and learn. My hunt for finding a new hobby continues. If you have any suggestions of things that I could try that I might be into, I mean, I won't know unless I try, right? So um, I'm thinking I would want to do like a arts and crafty class because I feel like that could be fun. Could go to yoga, could turn into a yoga girly. If you are part of any clubs that you go to consistently, let me know in the comment section because it would be good to get some inspiration, some ideas. I have packages. I have three packages. I don't know why I have three, because I'm only expecting two things. Unless I ordered more things I cannot remember. We shall see. I think I have something in my eye too. Okay, let's open them. Scissors. Ooh, okay, so I got board games because I want to host more this year and I want to have more people around. And I realized I didn't have any games because my go-to activity are things like painting and arts and crafts or watching a movie or just talking or the kind of games that I play are the card games with questions but that's a bit too deep for some people especially sometimes I have friends around that they don't know each other like they only know me so I feel like board games is like a good kind of like an icebreaker for people who don't know each other that well I've invested in some board games so the first game I got is Articulate I played this at a board game cafe it was called Drafts in Waterloo which is a really cool place by the way if you haven't been you definitely need to go because it's really fun. And we played this game and it was so much fun. And I was like, oh my God, okay, this is a board game I can get behind. I really like this one. This one was a lot of fun. So I got this. I also got You Know because that's just like a popular game everyone loves. And this one, which I've never played before, Six Second Scribbles. But it looks like something up my street. I feel like this one could be quite fun. Right, let's see what's in the second box. I love how I've ordered these things, but I still get excited because I have the memory of a goldfish. So I actually cannot remember. <gasps> okay, now this this game is like a childhood favorite. I got Ludo. I'm actually surprised by the amount of people who don't know the game Ludo. Because to me, it's like, I thought everyone knew about it. I'm really excited to play this one. I get really competitive with this game. I get so competitive. It's uh, kind of bad. I don't actually know what's in the last box, you know? Because I thought I only ordered two. Did I order two? Oh no! Okay, well this is going to have to go back. Okay, turns out I think I ordered two of them. I mean, I love it, but I don't love it that much. Well, that was really exciting and fun. These are the card games that I have. And these are the things I usually like to play. Should we... Should we do a question? I feel like you guys might be into this sort of stuff. Today's vlog question is, choose four adjectives to describe yourself. You can ignore the second part of the question because I don't have three good friends to do the same for me right now. <laughs> I would say creative, impatient, driven, and loving. Yeah, I think those will be my four adjectives. Let me know what yours is in the comment section below because I would love to know. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want this to be a regular thing where I ask you guys questions because that could be quite fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you lots. Please know the matter and I shall see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.